There's lots of things I can ask you. Uh, first thing I wanted to discuss tea and biscuits <laughs> because that seems to be quite a theme in the in the show. Where you sit on what's yeah, the what's yeah. the tea of choice? What's the biscuit of choice? Jammy Dodgers obviously mentioned quite a lot in the in the show. Well, can I just? I'm that's brilliantly observed the Jammy Dodgers. That was a bit yeah. of a moment, wasn't it? Yeah, Guy made a bit of a moment of that. Yeah. But did you come up with Jammy Dodgers or did Guy? I can't remember. I can't remember. I don't, he just went on a kind of like he does a little tangent about biscuits so that's where yeah. that all came from but on I, I think it was you I think it was you came up with jammy dodgers and because it was one of the first breakfast scenes that we'd done yeah the tea didn't they didn't I I think yeah I'm builders too yeah um I thought we'd be old grey a bit <laughs> and then there's even a lady grey but no no um I I like builders um but the, yeah, those scenes were very funny, just the continuity of all the tea. But I'm pretty sure it was Vinny and Guy had a moment with the yeah, biscuits and you were like, Jammy Dodgers, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a great line. We were just in the press room all having coffee and we all realised we shouldn't be drinking coffee, we should be drinking tea, shouldn't we? Oh, grey tea and stuff like that. Uh, I do love a Guy Ritchie film and obviously now a TV show and he has this wonderful kind of wit and kind of dark humour. You've worked with him before. I think this is your I first time. Yeah. What's it like stepping into that world and stepping back for you? Because he seems to be as sharp as he, as he ever has been. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, so I was brought up, you know, so kind of the first, first manager I ever have, if you like, you know, first director, you know. So for me, that's the way you you kind of brought up, you know. Um, so, so yeah, I, I, I kind of steadied the ship a couple of times, you know. The, they was all getting a bit of a panic with say this line and is a is for more lines and that lot well, that was all getting a bit panicked. I said, oh, yeah, yeah. take your time, don't worry this about it. This is a nice it. rewrite, Ben. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice rewrite of events, I like that. Rewrite it. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like for you, Jolie, to step into to his world? Because he is quite, he's very specific, but there's yeah. humour, there's, there's kind of black humour. Well, it's so funny to me listening to uh, Vinny because, yeah, Vinny, like, that was his experience of what, filming was like and for the rest of us you, you don't usually work that way you know guys so kinetic of the moment just coming up with stuff as you land on set because you know the way I was brought up when you get to the set you know time is money so you're really aware of the clock ticking so there isn't time to like mess around or, or wait so when you're handed new pages just as you arrive it's like <gasps> This is going to take me a moment, and and because you're, you know, it's like it's like a TV game where time's running out, so the pressure's way up. Um, it's it's a absolute leap of faith. I really enjoyed it, but you know, some people can't handle that way of working, and they had to use boards at moments, right? Did they? I never saw that. I never saw it either, but I was told that. <laughs> Could have been a malicious rumor. You're a grass. You're a grass. <laughs> no, you don't like I'm not a grass. Well, I haven't said any names, have I? <laughs> Keeping quiet. Keep it quiet. Uh, in your career, obviously, as a as a footballer and now as an actor and everything else in between, what's the how's the challenge of working with animals, particularly the array of animals that you get to <laughs> share your house with in uh, in this one? Well, it all gets just tedious, doesn't it? You know, because they're not doing what they want, <laughs> and you, you know. So you're sitting there, you go, and the the thing, I mean, we had it straight away with the dogs, didn't we? I mean, the first bloody first scene, you know, these they're supposed to come and highly trained, and they're this and they're that, and they're the opposite. And these girls are just running around giving them treats and everything else, and the, <laughs> and the fox there, and that's running beyond. And I said, that's going to run beyond the couch. Oh, no, not this one. It's really trained and all this. Way. <laughs> Ping. They're running around trying to get that. And, yeah, animal, animals are worse than kids, I'd say. Yeah. But but I do have a fond memory of when we were, uh, you might not have seen it in the first two episodes, but I remember we went to that sheep place, the cattle. Yeah, and yeah. And that, that, that was the world that Vinny knows because he, um, he was a gamekeeper as a young lad. Yeah. I'm like your publicist, Vinny. We were like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had a good one when we went to the sheep market, yeah. Nice. I was going to tell a football story about you being the first player I ever got saw get sent off in my second game ever, but it turned out it wasn't you, it was one of your teammates. How was it? Sheffield United. Barnes, is it Barnes? Barnes, Barnes? yeah, Sheffield United, yeah. Yeah, as a Spurs fan. 
but yeah. I got I got my story completely wrong. Child with the same brush. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask a weird, weird random question? Because we are talking about Guy Ritchie's The Gentleman, but what's it like when, when you get sent off? What's the feeling? Um, you hear this great big, you prat. <laughs> And it's Just very like lonely one. sitting in the yeah. whole dressing room. You're sitting around there going, oh, God. Mm. And then you have to wait for them all to come in and all that. Yeah. One. As a Spurs fan, I have to say, it's good. a bit chaotic. No, hey, I'm glued to the TV when football's on too. But, uh, uh, but I just always wonder, what's it feel like as a player when you get sent off? Now, now I know. You feel yeah, like a lonely. Now, on a film set, when everything's going wrong, you can feel like a very and lonely. Very lonely. Yeah. It's, it all goes back to childhood, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. When we're told off in the classroom, that horrible feeling. Sent to the corner, yeah, something mm. like that. Yeah, mm. crazy times. Uh, guys, wish you all the best with the show. It's really, really good oh, so far. Thank, thank you so much for your time. Thank Cheers. you. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Sweet. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey.